remember the first time you were compared to another person? Because I don't. But I guess that probably this first time was just when you were a newborn baby and everyone around you said that you are so similar to your parents. So comparing is one of the most ingrained actions in our mind and with the passing of time it has become something natural for all of us. We are all used to comparing our skills, our achievements, behavior or look with other persons. At school, in a shopping mall, on TV, and even at home, just everywhere. The educational system shows us that we have to be good at everything. Also, teachers at school try to motivate us by comparing our marks and achievements, and even our parents do it so often, just because they want us to do our best. But the effect is opposite to the one intended. Instead of being unique and outstanding, we are one of a crowd. In 1968, American scientists Robert Rosenthal and Leonard Jacobson published their research tests which were carried out on children, beginner students. The scientists, after analysis, told teachers which children are expected to do the biggest progress in the next school year. But actually there weren't any analyses before, and these students were just randomly chosen. Surprisingly, at the end of the school year, it turned out that these pupils have developed better than other peers. The phenomenon was named Rosenthal effect, but it is also known as self-fulfilling prophecy. Just look how easily someone can convince you if you are good, only by placing you before or after others. Now imagine that you come in a bookshop and you choose two completely random books. The first one is a thick fantasy book with a gripping plot and the second one is a thin cookbook. Is there any similarity between them? Actually, there isn't any, so comparing them is unreasonable, isn't it? And the same is true about us, about people. We have different skills, different tastes, different interests and look. Everyone in that room has his own uniqueness. So why it is so hard for us to realize how awesome can be our difference? Max Ehrman said, if you compare to others, you can become vain and bitter. For always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. These are eight famous people that you probably know. All of them have succeeded in their professional life and each of them did it using completely different strengths. All of them represent eight different types of intelligences as it was laid down by Howard Gardner, an American psychologist, at the beginning of the 80s. According to Gardner's theory about multiple intelligences, these are Verbal linguistic intelligence, logical, mathematical, spatial, bodily kinesthetic, naturalist, musical, personal, and existential intelligence. And it proves that you have many different ways to find your place in the world. So don't be jealous when you see that your classmate's life looks better than yours, that he has more achievements, maybe that he's more intelligent than you, because you don't have to be like him. Try to focus on things that are already within you, not these that you need to feel better. Try to find your type of intelligence, because it's your own great and exclusive gift, the gift that you can open, see what is inside, and show it to the whole world. Thank you.